Hey guys, so currently right now I'm working on a very large scale piece which is supposed to be a kind of like a panoramic shot of an odd rogue deck in like the actual Hearthstone universe in the World of Warcraft universe. Uh, the piece in whole is going to be a big pirate ship uh, docking onto a uh, coast and having all of the pirates attacking and the pirates in the piece being the different cards used in the odd rogue deck in Wild specifically which is what I mainly put Hearthstone in. I was thinking about putting it all together into one big kind of like speed drawing video but I realized it would take forever and it would be like a five or six hour long video and it, nobody would really want to watch it. So I've decided to kind of just do the background and everything by myself and not really show any of that but for the individual pirate pieces I'm just gonna give them all their own little video. So this is the first one and it's Patches the Pirate. One of my favorite Hearthstone cards of all time, and a lot of people hate him because, well, he's... He used to be incredibly broken, you know, being in charge and all that. I miss the times before he got nerfed. But in this shot, I have him, instead of just uh, jumping out of the boat like most of the other pirates are, I have him being shot out of one of these ship's cannons, which works very well for what I'm trying to accomplish here. I have him just flying out with his sword and all that, all of his tentacles, like, flying backwards. Uh, I skipped the whole sketching phase because I realized nobody really would want to watch that being all floppy and stuff. So I kind of just skipped directly to the finalizing the line work and eventually coloring it in. Uh, right now, not much is happening. Kind of just fixing up my edges, fixing up the line work. Hope you enjoy. Oh, this part was actually very difficult. I was trying to have his tentacle wrap around the sword like he does in his artwork, but I forgot, I didn't realize, well I did realize, but I think I forgot and I realized it too late, that he actually wraps his tentacle around like multiple times around the hilt of the sword, and I never actually wrote that in. Here I tried to make it seem like the sword was broken, but it didn't really come out well enough. His beard, I kind of extended it a bit from what it was in the actual artwork, I kind of just made it like an actual beard instead of it just being tentacles coming out of him. Well, not technical, but you know, his skin. His hat was really fun, really fun to draw. I enjoyed drawing his hat. I have it, I made his eyes a little more crazed and wild because I gave the entire little piece a more cartoonish look because it kind of fits into my art style where nothing is really overly realistic. Everything has basic form and textures. So I, I didn't try to copy the style of the original host center. I kind of just try to take the characters into my own twist, which is how I feel most artwork should be. His hook, on the other hand, I don't like the way it came out, I still don't, but it was the best I could do at the time. Alright, here I skipped until I stopped drawing patches and I kind of just skipped into after I put all the colors in the pirate ship, all the colors in the water, because I felt it'd be easier to realize where the shadows would be and where the shading would be on each Advil pirate if I already had the background to base it off of. So I started here by kind of just, um, you know, taking each individual color, making like a basic palette of all of um, Patch's colors, from his hat to his sword to his skin to his eyeballs, and the weird eye patch thing he has. Multiple eye patches. So I kind of just started doing that and just started with the hats and seemed like a little basic and simple thing to color in. And I just went off on that, kind of switching from a basic uh, paintbrush tool to a more blending style tool to make each color blend into each other. I'm still kind of new to the whole coloring digitally, so hopefully it came out really well. Here, getting Patches' actual skin color to fit was really difficult. Because if you look at his artwork, his skin kind of shifts from a bright, like, aquaish blue on the right side, and then it kind of just blends into a darker, like, grittier purple on his, uh, his right side, our left. 
And there's really no explanation for it. I, I, I didn't really know how to portray that correctly, so I kind of just made it a even gradient from the light blue to the darker purple. And just added in shading every now and then. Uh, the weird gill thing he has on the side of his face, I wasn't really sure what that was. So I kind of just made them these little, like, flat frills coming out of the side of his face and just put shadows underneath them to show them. Uh, his lips are just purple. It's just a lot of purple, a lot of blues in his palette. Uh, his sword hilt was kind of annoying because I had to balance a different brown because it was on top of the brown from the pirate ship. Uh, right here, I just fiddled around with a bunch of different shading techniques. I didn't know whether to make his mouth, like, the emptiness of his mouth black or red. I kind of just went with black because it fit better. His eyes were actually pretty easy to do. I kind of just copied the individual colors and then went from a uh, ba like a mid-tone, then a lighter tone and a darker tone for the different shading of the eyes and everything. His eye patches are pretty simple. It's just a golden color with a little bit darker gold in the middle and then the purple inside. Right here I was very confused because I couldn't tell if in his actual artwork if that little little bit in between his eyes and his hat, like his forehead, I didn't know if that was more claw or just part of his skin because I, I couldn't tell from the actual artwork. So I kind of just went with him having just his skin there and then just a jewel on his forehead because I, I don't know what it was on his forehead in the original artwork. I just got made of a jewel. He's a pirate, probably, he probably stole it from somebody and just keeps it. I just copied over the color for the teeth and just try to smooth out all the gradients by this point. His beard, I just, instead of doing a gradient for his beard, I instead kind of just went for a low opacity paintbrush and just quickly like stroked it as if it was hair, just different, uh, different t shades of blue and aqua with a couple purple here and there, kind of like Kind of like Thanos' chin is kind of what I was going for, and just kept uh, stroking every now and then up and down until I got that really hairy texture. The jewel I just made the same color as his eyes because that's what's on the original artwork. Here I'm just trying to fix the coloring again because I wasn't happy with how the blue and the purple was meshing together, so at this point it's just me trying to fix that. With the tentacles, I wasn't sure whether they were supposed to be blue or purple, since both are shown in the artwork. So I kind of just went with the whole... I kind of pretended that the top part of its tentacles were blue, and then the underside was purple. And just went along with that, which is with each individual tentacle, kind of making the underside purple, as like the chest of a snake would be. And I just rolled with that for the entire tentacles, and I was pretty happy with how those turned out. And here I move into uh, coloring the sword, which, as like I said before, I had trouble picking the right shade of brown because the original shade of brown kind of just blended into the uh, ship behind him. So I just made like a richer, redder brown and just like put more highlights in it to give it a little more depth so it would stand out amongst it. Uh, the gold hilt of not the gold hilt, but like the golden part of the sword was actually really fun for me to to paint because it was just the same color as his hat and it gave it a nice little shiny look to it and I really enjoyed it. Uh, the sword itself, like the actual blade, I I didn't like the way it looked because I'm still not really uh, used to digital art and doing like straight even slashes like a sword would have that which isn't to be a straight line, kind of slightly curved. So I kind of just touched it up here a little bit, erased it, tried to redraw it to be a little more uniform. I think it came out a little better. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how Patches turned out. I think after this, I think I'm going to do Firefly off-camera, because it's just a lot of red and a lot of random fire, and it's not going to make an interesting video. I think after this, I'm going to do Lotheb, who's on the right side of the pirate ship, uh, kind of coming out of the water. 
Here you're gonna zoom out for a bit and see the entire full picture in a minute once I erase all this. Yes, I can figure out what that uh, little black dot is. A little showing, and then, um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video.